talk about how it's hot and dry. We're also dealing with some smoke, too. Yeah, it's really just been a weird, dry, not so great weather pattern. I'm seeing all over social media people are saying, where is the moisture? I yeah. hate this pattern. And unfortunately, now we're adding smoke to this. So it's just not been very fun. So we have this big area of high pressure over the southwest. It sticks with us just like we had last week. It's not moving anywhere. There is an area of low pressure that will approach our area by the weekend. That couldn't drop our temperature down earlier. That looked like maybe that would bring us some moisture. That's looking less and less likely. This big area of high pressure is also keeping us on the dry side and it's also funneling smoke right up our area uh, right in our area so out on the eastern side of the state we continue to see some smoke through tomorrow morning and then it will get a bit better uh, as we head into the afternoon and evening but out on the eastern plains it may still be thick even into Wednesday taking a look at our air quality alerts these are finally all in place all the way from Pueblo County up into Wyoming we have an air quality alert for the front range and parts of uh, northern Colorado and down to the south through four o'clock tomorrow thanks to all of that wildfire smoke. Even though it gets a little bit better, the air quality still is not going to be great tomorrow afternoon. And talking about the rain, where is it? It's been 16 days since we've last seen rain here in Denver, and it's going to be a while until we see some on the horizon because of that big area of high pressure. So right now, we're sitting at 78 degrees in Denver, 79 in Boulder, upper 70s, low 80s out in the eastern plains, high country right now, 62 in Frisco, 76 in Avon, and usually our first freeze, average first freeze is October 2nd. Last year, it was October 13th. I can tell you it's not coming tonight and it's probably not coming by October 13th and our average first measurable snowfall is October 18th. Last year it was just before Halloween with on October 28th and it certainly is not coming anytime in the next several days because it will be very dry around here. Temperatures tomorrow more of the same 82 in Denver, Boulder and Fort Collins. Low to mid 80s out on the Eastern Plains, 68 in Breckenridge and Vale, 83 over in Grand Junction and across the Front Range tomorrow a whole lot of low 80s. 81 in Broomfield, 82 in Denver, 80 in Centennial and Parker. 82 in Aurora, and as we zoom on in to Weldon, Larimer counties, 83 in LaSalle and Evans, 83 in Greeley, 82 in Loveland, and for Mead, 83 in Decono and Frederick. And as we zoom on into your neighborhood in Windsor, we're looking at 82 degrees for Pelican Lakes. Still a little bit smoky early or early in the day, and then plenty of sunshine in the afternoon. There's just a little touch of rain coming up from New Mexico in the southern part of the state. Otherwise, we are dry right now, and we're going to stay that way, unfortunately, for the next several days. So as we head into Wednesday, 82 degrees, partly cloudy. Thursday, 84, mostly sunny. This will be our warmest day of the week, 84 in Denver. Upper 80s, even some more 90s out on the eastern plains. High country, low 70s and upper 60s. So it's actually a little, little bit cooler out there as we head into the weekend. And then into the weekend, that low pressure will drop us down to the low 70s on Sunday. There is a chance for a little bit of moisture out there as we head into the high country, but maybe a sprinkle or two in Denver, although the chances are certainly not that great. Now, along with these dry conditions,